Oh my god, Nick is recording again. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's been like a week, two and a half weeks since I've recorded Wind Waker, and it's been like half a week to, from a, possibly a whole, since I recorded, uh, Prime 2. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure if the last two videos are actually going to go up. Uh, which really sucks, but basically I got the Deku Leaf because I need to go save the thing called Makar that's locked away in there. I helped the great Deku Tree. Just play the actual game and you'll get it. Get out of here. Those guys will ow, probably eat you. Yeah, he just tried to eat me. Bitch, please! Uh, so in recent news, if you've been paying attention to my news bulletins, which I know I don't pay attention to my subscriptions news bulletins, so... Um... Let me turn this down. Ow! I saw my life flashing before my eyes. Bitch. Uh, as some of you may or may not know, I have... Uh, my uncle brought over two rather old games, uh, for me, and they both work with my computer, which is surprising considering that StarCraft the original and its expansion were made in 1998, and later, oh yeah, we got, yeah, that was an accident, the Force Water will basically last for 20 minutes, um, and the Force Firefly, I'm saving that for a bonus quest, a BONUS QUEST?! But, um, yeah. Uh, that's the great Deku Tree. He's a Deku. Yeah, I don't have anything clever to say about that. But anyway, I got Civilization 4. Sid Meier's Civilization 4. And I also got the original StarCraft with Brood Wars expansion, which is awesome. I've already played through the first 10, the, uh, 10 Terran missions on the original StarCraft. And thanks to my birthday having been recently, and me not spending my money like an idiot, I realized that uh, I could buy StarCraft 2, which came out not that long ago. Thank God I made that. Oh, you idiot. Yeah, I'm just cutting down the Deku Tree's grass. I blame him for not supplying me with health, or for not just having one of his little buddies, uh, I don't even remember what those guys are called, the, uh, I'm just gonna call them, uh, uh, I don't remember what they were called in Mario Galaxy 2, and just like Nintendo Capri Sun recently, I feel bad for not remembering those cute little guys' names. I wanna say, it's not Driftwood, that's for sure. Oh, whatever, but I've beaten the 10 Terran missions on StarCraft 1. It's a great game. I would have started the Zerg missions if I hadn't been so defiant about recording Wind Waker. So you guys owe me. I could be playing as the Zerg right now. Personally, I think the Protoss are going to be, are going to be my type of uh, army, having the shields and all that. I think those are going to be my preferred guys. Well, I've, I've been fighting with the Terrans for, like, the past week and a half. So... Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's what the Deku Leaf does. It allows you to glide. Well, if you're jumping in mid-air when you do that. There we go. But, um, I'm so used to using the Terrans that I may just try and make one of my, uh, Protoss's, uh, or Zerg's command centers, or their equivalent of the command centers, try to take off and land somewhere else, which, as, in, as anyone who's played the original StarCraft will know, or any StarCraft for that matter, the only structures that can take off are Terran-based structures, and I really hope this works. Oh, that was an idiot. Thankfully, they do restart you up here, so... I forgot to do the Wind's Requiem. Oh, by the way, I think I got a... It was either a treasure chart or a piece of heart. 
Um. Ah. Uh. It was. It. Oh, uh, I was on one of the random islands around the uh, forest haven. I can't believe I remembered this. I played through this game like three times, not completely. I've still yet to completely beat the game, so the boss will be uh, almost completely blind, which will be fun, needless to say. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to make that. But, um, I've played through the game three times, just about almost all, almost all the way completely through. And I still remember the Wind's Requiem, even though I haven't played this game in a couple weeks. It's kind of surprising to me. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait to start commanding the Zerg. And if any of you out there, uh, play StarCraft 2, let me know, or even the original StarCraft, well, StarCraft 2, we'll stick with that. If you play that, then let me know, oh, oh, oh boy, then let me know, and I'll see if I can figure out how to add you as a friend on StarCraft 2. Oh boy. Oh, that's right, you don't need the Tornado's help for this one. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, Jesus. I can't say that StarCraft or StarCraft 2 is going to be a future LP, though, because quite frankly, it's like Final Fantasy X, only worse, because it's a real-time strategy game. It's like LPing a fi or, uh, Fire Emblem game. Oh, boy. It's like LPing a Fire Emblem game. It's, like, near impossible to do without complete and total criticism. Like, oh, you should have done this here, and derp. Well, I'm not a real big advocate of the Fire Emblem series as is. I played through Path of Radiance, I think it is. The one for the Wii. And, um, it, w it was good, I will say. It was a very good game. The o My only issue with, with it is that I constantly have to reload battle states, battle saves, just like I do in StarCraft, only because I'm a noob at both games. So, give me a break, people. Okay, now what we have to do here, let me get back to the actual game, is uh, we have to fly up there to where all those things are flying around, and that cyclone's going to give us the boost of wind that we need. But uh, once you land on this uh, tree trunk, if you fall in the water on the way over there to the Forbidden Woods, yes, the Forbidden Woods, um, you uh, and you fall in the water, you will come back to this tree stump, so, oh boy. And what you're going to do is wait until it's about right there, and you should be able to get a nice boost if you are not an idiot. And remember to change the wind, man! What is wrong with you? Uh, yeah, see? Start back over here. Oh, damn it. I guess I can take this time to finally change the wind's direction. Good freaking god. <sighs> I really don't have any stories to share, besides... No, I, I don't have anything to share besides the fact that it's going to be, uh... End of the term, end of first term here in, uh... Uh, week or so. Yeah, next week I've got finals, which means I'll get off at school two hours early. Because basically what it is, is when we have finals, there are two days. Our days are normally divided into a four-block schedule. Each block is an hour and a half. Oh, come on. Oh, god fucking damn it. Uh, each block is an hour and a half, and... I'm not even sure if I'm going to publish this as an episode. I may just make it a bonus video, considering how absolutely freaking retarded I am being. Ugh... Can I locate any familiar constellations? Um, there may be Cassiopeia. Possibly. There's Orion's Bell. Or just Orion. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it! Oh, this is driving me insane. <sighs> but each day is divided into four blocks. Each block is an hour and a half long. And for our finals, there are two finals days. Each day um, will contain two blocks finals. So you'll go through, like, first and second blocks finals. Oh, come on.
Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think I got it. Yeah. Oh boy. No. No. Come on to it. You dick. Now do you understand why I'm not up? I'm not an optimist. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get it, ball. Motherfucker. Uh But basically, we go to school for four hours because they're the they during finals days. You only go through two blocks, and each block it's two hours. Please make it! Oh boy. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, yes! No! Get the fuck out of here! I'll see you guys next time when we actually go th when we actually start the dungeon.